Hello Star Wars fans, this is JAR369, welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian, made by Hasbro. So take a look at the packaging, you can see the window exposing the figure and her accessories. You can get the usual Star Wars The Black Series packaging, her name, where she's from. On the side, you can see cool artwork image of Ros Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano. And here's the UPC in case you want to look for this figure for yourself. On the back, here's the same image. And there's a bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video. So that's about it. Let's take out Ahsoka Tano out of the package. Here's Ahsoka Tano out of the package. Let's take a look at the figure. The likeness to Rosario Dawson, I'd say it's really a not too bad a job with her likeness. Yeah, Hasbro did do really a great job with the sculpting of her head and the uh, face scanning on her. Not too bad at all, not too bad. And you get like the little things on her head here. Which I know the Rebels version of Ahsoka has like the bigger ones, but in the, uh, in the Mandalorian TV show, Season 2... She has like the smaller one, so like, yeah, I kind of understand why they made it smaller, so so it won't be heavy for her, for Rosario to carry on the the headpiece. You like the li this little crown thing here with a little sculpted silver painting there. The uh, the white line, the white paint on her face, I'd say they did really a not too bad a job with the the paint apps. And take a look at her outfit. I'd say they did really not too bad of a job with her outfit. You can see some sculpting details like the um like there's like the straps there on her on the neck of the area there. You get like the little loop rings there. And some silverware on her outfit, the robes. And you get two pegs for the uh the lightsaber hilts. And you get the long gloves, and you can see a little bit of her orange skin there. And you get the armor, same thing with her hands. So take a look at the hands. Well, there's nothing much on her hands, just, just, uh, no, just nothing up much. No painted nails or anything. But you get the, um, the gripping hands there. On the legs, not, nothing much. Just baggy pants and you get the boots there and some sculpted straps of the armor there and you can see like the little toe things there and on the bottom there's some legalese and two pickles on the bottom of her feet there overall for the figure itself this figure looks awesome and i'm very happy that hasbro finally make a a live action version of ahsoka tano yeah, we, we've got, like, two different Ahsoka Tano figures. One from the final season of The Clone Wars and the one from the Rebels TV show. And now, finally, this figure. Yeah, I'm happy to have get another Ahsoka Tano for my collection because, come on, she's my favorite. Moving on to articulation, the head does go fully rotated, including the neck, arms, go in and out, elbows, rotate and bent, wrist, hinge, up and down, both of them, because of her lightsabers. Waist rotation or chest right waist type rotation, low ball joint. Legs kick forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation. Bend at the knees, rotate. No boot rotation, but the angles to go pivot forward back and angle pivot side to side. Just a standard Star Wars, the Black Series articulation, but you can still give her some crazy possibilities. Moving on to accessories, she does come with her signature lightsaber. And also has the, like, the little blade thing removable. But I'm probably going to display her, like, pose around with her, with the figure. So let's, let's start off with the longer one. Do, do, do. Ah, there we go. And the shorter one. Come on, let me do this off camera. Do do do. Ah, there we go. Oh wait, nope. Uh, 
Do, do, do. And there she is, Ahsoka Tano with her lightsabers. Yeah, give her a little pose ability for her. Like so. There we go. But overall for the figure itself, I, I, I would say this has to be the best figure of 2022. Well, originally supposed to be released in 2023, but, you know, the release, the figures earlier. So, hey. Yeah, this figure is obviously the best figure of 2022, I would say. The likeness, the, the head sculpt on the figure looks really perfect. The sculpting on the figure looks good. And everything on this figure is by far the best. Well, the articulation is just a standard Black Series articulation. But you can still give her some action pose abilities like you see here. It's still a really uh, an amazing figure. And I definitely recommend getting this figure for your Star Wars collection. For my rate, I'm going to give the Ahsoka Tano figure a, a 10 out of 10 for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did... Please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Star Wars The Black Series Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian, made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, this is the way.